Um, hello everyone, I'm Shaira Jeanine Monsanto. So it's a weird spelling, it's spelled as C I A I R H A, but it's pronounced as Shaira. Um, I think uh, as you grow older, celebrations become more meaningful when it's in a smaller circle. So I just spent my birth month majority of the time with my family. So we went out of town, we had a small dinner, and I also took the time to go to Basilica because it's been a tradition for me when there is something major that's happening in my life. So I went there on my birthday. If you guys um, are curious, it, it was on September 13. So it was a very simple but meaningful birthday. So the whole Miss Cebu 2022 journey was such a roller coaster ride. When I joined last year, I really didn't expect anything. But as I went through the journey with the other candidates who became my friends and became my sisters, it was such a meaningful journey. And now that I actually placed second runner up in the Miss Cebu 2022 pageant, um, I got to pursue more my passions in community service. So we have the opportunity to reach out to fellow Sabuanos to advocate for our different passions, respectively. Some of my proudest moments have circled majority um, regarding my education and um, being part of the beauty pageant world. So I graduated as a um, Bachelor of Science in Nursing and became a registered nurse. I'm really proud of that. And um, as part of the beauty pageant industry, I've joined a few pageants here in Cebu and my latest victory was with Miss Cebu 2022. So some of my favorite spots here in Cebu to get coffee is, um, if you guys are familiar with Nemo Brew in Lapu Lapu City, so it's a cafe hidden in the center of Lapu Lapu and it's like, it's really quaint and it's really peaceful because it's surrounded by trees and nature so when you drink coffee there you really feel relaxed but when i'm in the city a favorite restaurant that i go to is Spence cafe it's located along ayala and it's a really nice cafe that it's really small but it's really really um their, their food is really good and their drinks are really good as well and since you know, i'm a proud fur mom so i have a dog named zero actually i have five dogs but you know my, my dog is named Zero. He's the youngest of the five. So I bring him to Koda & Co. They're located at 88th Avenue so they have the best grooming in the city. So every time my dog or Zero comes home from a grooming from Koda & Co, he, re uh, he smells really really good. A top tip would be to celebrate even small wins in life. So just like this, I'm able to share my thoughts and my advocacies um, through Aura Galleria. Um, they gave me the opportunity to showcase uh, these beautiful jewelry and I'm really happy um, being part of that journey. Um, and in terms of life, you know, just every day waking up, having the opportunity to live life, I think you have to celebrate that every single day and you know, that makes me happy. A meaningful piece that I got from Aura Galleria is when I won Miss Cebu 2022 second runner-up. I actually consider it as a gift and I brought it with me today. So here it is. I'm going to show it to you guys. So it has a pearl and a diamond that is set in white gold. So I think that it's really timeless, you know, to have a pearl necklace. And um, there's a cute butterfly there. And I know that um, butterfly symbolizes, you know, change and metamorphosis. So I think it's a really great symbol for me that my Miss Cebu 2022 journey really changed me as a woman. I think I would tell my younger self to enjoy life and not to be so determined to get to places. Um, I think it was really relevant how I answered my Miss Cebu 2022 question and answer portion when I said that um, something that I learned during the pandemic was to slow down. And I think it's really relevant right now that we have to take the time to slow down and to live life in the moment. 
I believe if we're just kind to one another, the world would be such a beautiful place where there is just positivity and just beauty in being able to establish rapport and just be able to um, live in a society that's just positive and beautiful.